Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about split toe derbies and somebody on the channel asked what is the best split toe derby on the market and uh, the assumption that was made is that this one which is an Edward Green Dover uh, is the best. You can see the beautiful pie crust apron work that's done here even in Utah calf and so the question is which one is the best? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some that don't have a pie crust apron and uh, we'll just remove those right away. And then we'll look at some others that have them uh, to determine which ones are the best. Now, this is an example of one that is not a pie crust apron. You can see that it's still two pieces of leather, but they're very, very tight. You can see seams here and here, but here it almost looks like they're actually the same piece. Um, so I say uh, it's a different, this is from Enzo Benafe. But that is not quite a pie crust apron. So we're gonna just put this one off to the side. Now, here's another. This is from Petra and Claymore. And again, these two pieces of leather are joined, but if you look at it really carefully, it's not a long stitch in a piece over top, so it's not quite a pie crust either. So again, we'll, we'll take that one off and say no. Now here's an example in Shell Cordovan. You can see the stitching going through the apron and into the other piece. So you got the top layer, the bottom layer. And you can also see this beautiful tension that they build into it to make the pie crust visible. So this is a Macariello, and compare, and this is actually Shell Cordovan. Compare that to the Utah Calf. It's definitely the same pattern. So we're gonna leave this one in. Now, this is a Yamagachi. Same thing, very clear pattern. Leave it in. This one, it looks like the pattern is there from different angles, but it's also not very clear. This one is Shell Cordovan also, and this is from Blazing Wonders. Um, so we'll leave this one in, but my opinion, because you can't see the stitches as they go into the side very clearly, maybe not the best example, but it's Shell Cordovan, so that makes it harder. This is in hatch grain which is very hard, but you can also see a very, very distinctive pattern in there as they go through the side, creates that pie crust. So that one will stay as well. This one, as you look at it, you see the stitch, this is a pebble grain. So it's harder to see, but it is there but it's not a very long stitch into the edge. Now this is a uh, uh, Yohai Fukuda. And so as I look at this, I question whether or not that really is a pie crust apron. It could be, but it's really, really small. And I don't see much of the apron there. So I'm actually going to take this one off. Now maybe it's because it's the pebble grain that I just can't see it. But in fairness, want to keep it off. Now this one here, this is a Bontoni. Now that looks like it is one piece of leather and not two. So we're just going to leave this one off. So just a little bit of reworking here. Bring that here, like so. And now let's take a look at the other side. We'll start with the one in the middle. This is texture. If we look at this, it's definitely not a pie crust apron. It appears to be two, although that could just be very, very interesting dyeing but it does appear to be two pieces of leather, but they are joined really over this piece of piping. So we're gonna say no to that one. 
This one here is from St. Crispin's. This is in bison. So again, it's hard to tell with a very, very heavily textured leather, but this kind of looks like the two pieces of leather were brought up and it was stitched through. Very similar to the Petra and Claymore. So we're gonna say no on this. Now, these are all beautiful shoes, but we're trying to keep it so that the comparison is to the Dover. So we wanna make sure that it's the same stitch. Now this one has just gorgeous in hash grain. You can really see the needle through, through the grain right here, each, way, each one, creating that beautiful pie crust. So that is going to be there. Now, this one is a Macariello in suede, and you can see at different angles, which I'll move around, that this is the same stitch. You can see them right there. So we're gonna include that one, but not a very well-defined stitch. And here's another suede. This is actually a combination, and it looks very much like it is the same stitch, but you can't really see it. So we'll leave it in. So as we're looking at this, we've taken and we've pulled five shoes away. Now these are, or excuse me, six shoes away. These are all hand welted. Um, the Edward Green Dover, of course, is Goodyear welted, hence this is the hand welted edition. So there's a significant difference in the way the shoes are made. One of these is a Norwegian stitch. The others are all your standard flat weld. Here's the Norwegian. And that has uh, a lot of really beautiful detailing on it. But compared to this one, the Norwegian really is different because that's a hand weld type of construction and uh, Edward Green doesn't do that. So we're gonna pull this one out and because the pie crust is not extremely visible, like it is on the Edward Green, uh, we, would have S we would have pulled it out anyway. So, now we're left with the Yanamagachi, the Meccariello, the Yosol. This is a Timber Lee. This is another Meccariello. And this is an October 10th, which I'm just gonna move over here to uh, balance this out a little bit. All right. So, which one is the best in the end? We're all saying that they're, they're the same stitch as this. So let's pull that away. And now let's take a look at how these compare to each other as independent shoes versus as the comparison. Now, even though the suede stitching is obviously the pie crust method of stitching, I'm not as much of a fan of it because you really struggle to see the pie crust. Now, maybe that's just the very literal side of my brain, but I think that if you're gonna call it a pie crust apron, you ought to be able to see the pie crust. Although I do have a pair of Edward Green Dovers where it's not as obvious, but I'm gonna pull that one out and I'm gonna pull this one out because although this one is considerably better, it is also not as clear. So we'll, uh, we'll bring that one out as well, which now leaves us with four. Now, it is important to note that the suede um, Meccariello, this one, this is a Capri, this is not a Centurion. Uh, so it is not the same exact style and model. I have a feeling if I had a Centurion in suede, that might be a little bit better defined. But as it is, absolutely love it. And um, I do have a pair in Peccary uh, where it is defined as well as it is here in Shell Cordovan. Now, what's interesting here is you have hatch grain, hatch grain, hatch grain, and cordovan, which are all leather types that are very hard to see the stitch on. But we happen to have some really great examples from Timberly, from Yosol, from Yanamagachi, and from Macariello. So which one is the best? Now, as we continue to look at these, 
if we're looking at definition and we're looking at definition in the split toe, all right, definition in the split toe is very good. Definition in the apron is good. As you look at the shoe itself, it's a very thick sole, very beautiful. These are um, ones that I'm actually saving uh, for the, um, uh, uh, the contest to show natural patina. So I um, haven't worn them yet, but uh, it is a uh, it's absolutely gorgeous shoe. Uh, this pair, um, again, these are hand stitched, hand stitched, hand stitched. These are just very, very high end shoes. You know, when you look at the waist, you can see this is all done by hand. Um, this whole fiddle back on this one was built up by hand. I actually have pictures of all the work in progress from it, from the Yanamagashi team. Um, and this extremely tight waist, just an absolutely gorgeous shoe. Um, I'm hard on my shoes, as you can see. So very, very nicely done. I would say if you're looking at just pure stitch density, they are close enough that I can't tell, but both very, very fine. Um, and uh, both what I would consider a significant step up on the other two. This has no tension lines on it, like these do. But candidly, I think that Macariolo does that on purpose, but Edward Green does not. So I'm gonna say that the Yanamagashi actually knocks out the Macariolo. And if you look at this pair, they also have the tension lines there. Now, the apron on this is absolutely divine, but I feel like the proportions on the heel are just not quite as good. And certainly the, the waist work um, is not as good on, on these compared to the others. So then we look at this. This again has very similar proportions to the other. Um, this is probably machine stitched versus hand stitched in the sole, although very dense. And when you get an up close personal look at the toe, it's not quite flat. It has a little bit of an indentation there. So I'm going to call that one different. And we're going to stay with this by Hiro Yanamagashi as the winner, as the best split toe. Uh, hand welted version in my collection and the only one and so something clearly superior but the same type of shoe compared to this Dover. So that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.